Hey guys, Jack here. I wanted to talk a little bit more about the critters that break down the detritus, which is what we think of as the waste, which is really just nature's way of recycling organic material. So this is the site of my last video. There's the <clears throat> safflower that I knocked a couple leaves off these cauliflower or um, broccolis for. And you'll notice that the two big leaves that were laying here, they're completely gone. Uh, there's our little roly-poly friend there. He ate it. Now, it's been about five days, and they're just disappeared. I didn't bury them. I didn't put them under the soil, whatever. That was like munchy, delicious goodness because it was fresh but dead. And because that was the case, and it was it's sitting there, our little critters, like there's another one right there, a little pill bug, right? Uh, ate it. And you can see, like, look right here. This is, oh, wow, this is perfect. God, this is exactly what I needed. All right. This is what happens. I had several people tell me, no, Jack, you're wrong. They eat my kale. They eat my whatever. Okay, you see those guys right there? They are munching on that stem and leaf of this broccoli plant. Now, somewhere in me jacking around or something, what I did is I broke this. I damaged this stem, and this is dead or and or dying. So this is exactly what I wanted to talk about. This is what's happening. You come out to your garden and you see something like this and you say, look what those bastards did. They're killing my plant. So what ends up happening, and this is really common with young plants, beans, young kale, anything with a, with a delicious stem for a cutworm, you plant it and Mr. Cutworm comes out at night and chomp, 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 and he just timbers your bean plant or your kale plant or whatever. Maybe he doesn't get all the way through, but he damages it and it starts to die like this. And then these guys come along and they're like, oh, look, it's dead and or dying. And they start munching their little asses off. You come around and say, look what they did. This is like, let's say Bill is walking into a building he's never even been in before. He hears some commotion. And Bill Hill hears some commotion. He goes in that building and he goes in, he finds that somebody's been killed. And he leans over to check and see if that person's really dead or if they're okay, if they need help or whatever. And cops walk in the room and they see Bill like we see these little pill bugs here and they say, look what you did. You killed this person. And Bill's like, I, I didn't, I didn't do anything. I just found him. Sure you did, Bill. Come on. That's what they all say. They all say they didn't do it, and they arrest Bill, and they take him to jail. That's what's going on here 99% of the time. Because, again, I have plants of every variety you can think of. I've got flowers. I've got chard. I've got peppers. I've got tomatoes. I've got, I've got all these plants with no real pest problems. But when I drop a leaf like this, look at this. This is overnight. There's there's one of our, our guilty pill bugs right there. There he is. We know you did it. Bill on the internet says you did it, buddy. So you're guilty, right? He's guilty. He didn't do anything. Go on, bud. Get back in there. He, I just mind my own business eating a dead leaf. All right. They are not pests. They are detritus consuming little critters. They are decomposers. They're an incredibly important part of your soil food web. There is one exception. There is one person that told me I'm wrong, and he is right because what I said is they never. I should have said almost never. What he described does make sense. He had a bunch of, like, dry grass as his mulch, and by mid-season, all of it was gone, and he was down to bare soil, and he said they got so hungry... They started eating some of his plants. All right, that I could believe. If you starve something enough, it'll eat whatever it can find. So, yeah, I guess if you starve a critter that would really rather eat all this broken down material here, and there's just, I mean, there's got to be a, a million of these things in one bed without exaggerating the population count. They're just everywhere, and they're not hurting nothing. But yeah, I guess if they all started starving to death, you know, I remember a story about these guys that were exploring in Alaska and uh, they got stuck and they had like sleds and things 
Eventually, they started eating their sled dogs, which is pretty horrible, but they ate all the sled dogs, and they were still starving, and they were still lost. And I don't think those guys normally would have ate their dogs. Do you know what happened next? They started taking the lashings off what was left of their sleds that were made out of sinews and, and, and leather and boiling it and eating that. So, yes, if you starve something to the point where it doesn't have any other choice... It'll start eating, but if you're gonna tell me Roly Poly's gonna eat your plants, and I got this beautiful, young, tender, juicy, sweet fennel here, and they ain't touching it, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy into that. Been doing this a while. I'm 51 years old. I've been doing this since I was eight years old, uh, under my grandfather's, you know, attention. And I'm telling you, yeah, they'll eat the hell out of this. Look at them. There you guys are. The internet says you're a bunch of evil bastards. It must be true. The internet's never wrong. Yeah, the internet's always wrong, guys. Always. It's always wrong. You can't trust the internet. Watch. Let's, let's, let's leave here. I'm going to do this. And let's watch. We'll come back and do a follow-up in about a week and see if they eat the hell out of that. I bet they do because I just physically damaged it.